So from family, friends, television, social media, and more, there are many mixed messages for my ladies. And on this episode, we're going to find out if this is the right man for me. We got seven signs that he is a keeper. Mm, seven signs he's a keeper, huh? Mm-hmm. Seven. Do I got any of these signs? <sighs> you got a few. I might be doing all right. I might be doing all right. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to Mature Conversations about building healthy relationships. Frankie in the building, Rochelle. It's a pleasure being back up in here with you. How you feeling? Oh, I know it is. I'm feeling good. Feeling real good. And uh, before we get into these seven signs, because ladies already know that y'all are geared up. You got your notepads and your notebooks ready to take notes. First, we want you to subscribe to our channel so you can get instant alerts. You can get notifications. You can get all that good stuff when we go on and drop juicy content just like this to keep y'all educated and informed with relationship, juicy relationship Q&A. All right. So seven signs. What, what, what are you dealing with with number seven? Oh, num- nu- numero siete. Okay. That's my mind. Don't hit me bilingual. Don't hit. Es- Espanol. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> number seven. So number seven is being consistent. Hmm. Ladies, we love a man who is consistent. You know, he comes through on his word. You feel me? We don't have to always question whether this brother is going to be true to what we got going on, uh, to be there in, you know, different ways, things of that nature. We already know this brother we can rely on mm. that he that's a big word. Rely. <laughs> that is a very big word in relationships. We can rely on him to be the consistent person we need him to be. Okay, so mm-hmm. kind of you know reliable, built yes. built built tough yes. for the relationship. Yes. Okay, oh. um, now I'm, I'm checking out your list. I'm, I'm gonna throw this next one out there, and, and I just want your thoughts on, on that one. The next key component, and, and I think this is regardless of whether you're dealing with someone you want to fall in love with or just per- interpersonal skills, everything like that. He's a good communicator. You both yes. communicate well together there was mm-hmm. nothing it was kind of funny there was a um there was a a episode of tnt or inside the nba on tnt mm-hmm. where charles barkley asked kevin durant this long question and kevin durant just just, just responded yeah and, and the crew was laughing <laughs> at him because it was such a short response right you don't you don't want a man that you have to constantly pull Mm-hmm. everything out of you guys want to have that conversation that that flows or, or if he is a, a you know there are some brothers that just don't have a lot it, to say true. Uh, but as long as that works for you that that communication mm-hmm. in the relationship if you guys communicate well it, it's working for him it's working for you mm-hmm. hey that's definitely a good sign that he's is. a keeper and i'm gonna switch it over to yes, you for number is. five number five is affection Hmm. a very affectionate man and you know i'm gonna be honest being affectionate for me personally is something that i've always kind of struggled with just a little bit he might think otherwise but um Mm -mm. uh, (laughs) anyway go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead ahead. But, but but when you can find a man who is very affectionate who don't mind being that affectionate person you need him to be, I think it's a very, very good thing. My husband is one of those overly affectionate people. And, so you know, it used to get on my nerves. He'd be like, ah, mm-mm, space, you know, here's the line, space, give us some space, you know, but I've grown to love it over the 20 plus years. It's it's become <laughs> so loving and, and so adorable to me. But when you can find someone who is affectionate towards you, who just, you know, enjoys your space, enjoys being in your space, enjoys having their hands all over you, love and hug and kiss and touch and rub and all that good stuff. I think it's pretty good because you do have a lot of standoffish brothers out there. Who really aren't very they're they're affection I'll put it to you like this. They are affectionate in their own way. It's like a love language type of thing. So they show their affection differently. Okay. You feel okay. me? Definitely. Now, now, ladies, b- b- before affection is key. But I would like to add to the affection, but let, let's put a, a, a note. Uh, okay. you know, a little asterisk, you know, make sure that this is 
okay at a certain point, even if you're not lovey dovey, let's get some public affection because <laughs> a lot of brothers, they, 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 they don't mind being affectionate behind closed doors. But, right. But when everybody else is out and able to see y'all, they may not, you know, that, that, that public affection that, mm-hmm. you know, Just give me, my- give me your hand, put your, you know, <laughs> like, like, you know, that public affection, you know, um, this my woman, right? You know, here. L- l- putting this mark on. <laughs> mom, I I know that sounds old school, caveman ish, whatever. You, I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? This is my woman. Okay, get over. Come 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 on over here. This you know you know simple things, public affection. <laughs> you know we don't we don't want no man that's trying to hide what y'all got going on. You know, right? So yeah, public affection. Mm-hmm. Now flipping back to our our next on the list. Okay. Um, in relationships, there's always going to be good times, and then you're going to have those bad times. Mm-hmm. There are going to be times where you, as a, a woman, you screw up. I know that sounds kind of far fetched. Yes, it does. Uh, but there are going to be times where you make mistakes. And number four is a man who is forgiving. Mm-hmm. A big part, at least for what I was taught, is a big part of protecting your woman because I, I know, once again, I'm talking to you. On how I was raised, I know things have ch- changed so much. Um, but it, mm-hmm. a, as a man, it's my job to protect my woman. And as men, there are a lot of men out here who are the protectors. And a lot of times, when y'all is wrong, the best thing we can do is to deal with that and forgive. Mm. Because if you sit there and you let it fester, at a certain point, now you, you're potentially putting the relationship in jeopardy. So a man who knows how to take the good with the bad and work together to get all on that same page and forgive you even at your worst kind of, um, it it reminds me of the song by her. Mm -hmm. Take me as I am. Mm -hmm. If if he's willing to do that for you, you you got a good brother right there. All right. Now moving on. Number three, number three is to be, well, (laughs) Ladies, we are a lot. We are a lot to deal with. A handful. We are more than a handful. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I will admit to that. We are a lot. We are more than one handful. And when you can find someone who is patient, my God, mm-hmm. that is that that that's like hell. You 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 got the you done rolled out the silver package and then fell on into the gold package. When you can find somebody who is patient with you, that will baby. Like I said, sisters, we are a lot to deal with. Yeah. And, and God didn't give everybody patient as patience, especially when it comes to a woman and being in a relationship with a woman that right there. Hmm. That's a specialty that that is a special delivery directly from God, because a lot of men, they just, you know what? I can't deal with you. I, I've tried. I've done this. I've done that. I'm gone. F- go, go let somebody else have this problem because you are a problem. But when you find somebody that's patient with you, they are gentle. They are are kind. I mean, you know, struggle. Gold, period. All right. All right. And, and kind of piggybacking off of that, like number three. And number four, patience and forgiving can kind of go hand in mm-hmm. hand. And these next two we're getting into, I'm going to do number two, but I feel like they could be interchangeable. There is nothing better than a man who is honest with you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, <laughs> honesty is a rare commodity sure into is. today's dating world. You know, people, I always tell people, remember, when you start dating someone, the, the first few months, first few years, first three to five years are, mm-hmm. are all fake. Mm-hmm. The, the mass, will <laughs> all fake. It, you know, we're, we're trying to put on that persona that we're we're something that we're really not. And and as time goes on and you begin to see, stay with each other, the, mm-hmm. the, those masks come off mm-hmm. and, and being open and honest about where you are as a couple and how he's feeling. That's key to a good relationship. Right. And I'll, I'll send you home with number one. Number one, ladies. Number one, loyal. Mm. Chris Brown has a song says, these HOs, these HOESs ain't loyal. But when you find somebody who is loyal, that in these days we live in today, baby, is rare. Very rare. Cause it, 
nowadays you have men out there who want a whole cake mix of women. You know what I mean? They want chocolate, vanilla, red velvet, German chocolate. Uh, uh, You name it, they want it. But when you have their undivided attention and all they want is you, all I want is you, tunnel vision, baby, you got it. Loyalty is rare. But when you find someone, somebody who's got it and they want you and they want to be loyal to you and want to make this thing roll, you win it all day. All right. So seven signs. He's a keeper. Yep. Yep. Consistent communication, affectionate, forgiving, patient, honesty. And number one on the list, loyalty. Hey, Mm -hmm. we had fun hanging out with you. Juicy relationship Q&A. It's all about building healthy relationships as we have mature conversations. We'll see you next time.